Hi, I'm Scott MacArthur, and today I'm going to be talking to you about thought leadership and specifically about how you can get published. I'd like to start by expanding upon some of the corporate messages that you may have heard, like publish or perish. Why are we going to do this? Why have we decided as a business that we're going to do this? I'm sure you all drive cars, and I'm sure you all watch Formula One motor racing. And uh, you know what it's like when you buy a car, you maintain it, but over a couple of years it probably deteriorates, and eventually you decide to, to sell it and move on to another car. In Formula One, if Lewis Hamilton did that, he would win a race like he did last week in Sydney. However, if his team didn't continuously improve the performance of the car, the next race, it's pretty sure that he wouldn't win the race. So with continuous improvement, he is able to, to improve the performance of his car and therefore the next race improve his chances of actually winning the next race. Thought leadership, though, takes it to another level. And what thought leadership does, it says, OK, we understand continuous improvement, but how do we actually take our consulting products beyond that? So if you think we have a, a product that we're selling to the market, we'll tell our clients that we will continuously improve those, those products, we'll learn, we'll take feedback from them. But what thought leadership does is it gives you the breakthrough. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how you can get that breakthrough that you can see behind me and demonstrate that to your clients, to your colleagues, and hopefully to yourself in terms of how much value it can add to what we do at Atos Consulting. About a year ago, a colleague suggested to me that I start a blog. Didn't really know what a blog was, but I sat down late one night with a glass of wine and started to do a blog. Now, I'm an HR specialist, and I therefore stuck to what I knew, and I started to write book reviews, I started to take snippets of commentary from the press, and I published it on my blog. Much to my continued surprise, people became interested in it, and I started to get hits on my blog from all across the world. And what's happened since then is I've been contacted by journalists, I've been contacted by magazines, newspapers, etc., which I'll talk about a little bit more in a minute to actually provide content for them. So just the simple act of putting my name and thoughts out there uh, attracted people, which was really surprising to me, and uh, I'm delighted that, that it's gone as well as it has. So what's happened? Working along with our colleagues um, from marketing, I was able to then approach people like the Times, the Financial Times, Personnel Today, People Management, and suggest that they can look at my blog and look at the content and then suggest perhaps they'd be interested in writing something. This is where I would suggest a tip. Use the marketing people because they have excellent links into the newspapers and various professional journals. Once you have the contact, though, keep in contact with the, the editors and, more important than that, the writers, because writers are always looking for content. Don't think that because you're not an experienced writer that they won't be interested in you, because if you've got a point of view, they are likely to publish it at one point or another. So what else has happened? What else has happened includes things where, uh, for example, Monster, who you probably will have heard of, have approached me because of my blog and because of the publishing that we've achieved through the marketing uh, department to become a, a guru for them on their HR site. And they're now lifting my content and publishing it on their website. I don't have to do any additional work, which is great. And it means that... Um, I, I write an article, I publish it on my blog, and it can go around to different portals to market. So, what's important about this? How is it going to help Atos Consulting drive its business forward? The area where we can become famous as a thought leader, or where we can publish, is usually considered to be in the SME area. Other parts of the market are pretty crowded with other consultancy companies. So myself as an SME in HR, I focused very much on how we can improve our, our image in the marketplace, in the HR and change space. And what I would like to see, certainly in the next few months, is Atos including thought leadership as a USP in all of our bid packs. So how can you get involved? Well, the key thing is, if you're interested in this, is to do something about it. We're all going to be asked to uh, consider thought leadership in our balanced scorecard. Now, this is good. I agree with this. I think it's a good idea for things, for reasons that I've mentioned earlier. But if you are interested in getting involved, you've got some help. You're not alone. For a start, you can speak to your marketing colleagues. You can also speak to me. You can speak to your, your performance manager about what you can do. Don't think, though, 
that you have to go out there and write a blog or you have to go out there and write a 2,000 word um, article. It's not like that. Because quite often what journalists are looking for and what professional journals are looking for is your point of view. You will be an SME, you will have a, an expertise and it's important that you, you are able to articulate what your point of view is in the area that you are deemed to be an expert. So think about the various channels. Think about things like the web. Think about podcasting. Think about writing. Just think about organizing sessions with colleagues. And the, the tip that I would give you is every interaction is an opportunity to create collateral. And if you're having a roundtable meeting with clients or with colleagues, record it because that becomes collateral and that becomes something that you can publish through the various media that I mentioned earlier and get it out there.